All right, welcome to Lab 12. We're implementing an advanced DNS solution. This is part of the Configuring Advanced Windows Server 2012 Services R2 Lab Manual, found in the Microsoft Official Academic Course in Preparation for Exam 70-412. So during this lab, we are going to be working on configuring a DNS CC, enabling a DNS cache locking, configuring DNS logging, disabling recursion, configuring a netmask ordering, and configuring a global names uh, zone. So let's get started with exercise 12.1, configuring a DNS sec. Right, in this exercise, you will configure a DNS sec for a DNS zone. We're going to look at what resource records are created when you sign a zone. The approximate lab time for this is about 15 minutes, so let's get started. Okay, I'm going to log into my RWDC and my server 1. And as soon as I get them logged in, I will resume the video. Okay, so we're going to start with our RWDC01 and go into our tools and select our DNS. And I'm going to minimize this and minimize this. Expand our console just a little bit. Okay, and RWDC is already expanded. Now we're going to expand the forward lookup zone. And then we're going to right click on Contoso.com and select Choose DNSSEC. Oops, there you go. Left click, then right click. DNSSEC and sign the zone. Now we're going to click on Next. On the Signing Options page, we're going to choose to Customize. And then select Next. On the Key Master page, we're going to click on Next. And then we can answer the first question, what is the key signing key used for? And then on the Key Signing or KSK page, we're going to click on Next. In the key signing or KSK dialog box, we're going to click on add. And then we're going to type in in the new key signing key dialog box. We're going to select OK and then next. What is the zone signing key used for? And then we're going to click on Next, and then Add, and then OK, and then Next, 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 Next. next. And finish. Right click and do a refresh. And that is the end of this exercise and the end of this video. The next exercise we'll look at enabling a DNS cache locking.